friends, Romans, countrymen and women, and also uh, anyone from the city. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> um, here I'm actually asking you your advice. What do you think? Uh, don't be afraid to comment. Um, if it's nice, it'll be published. <laughs> well, that, you know, you don't have to praise me or anything, but if it's just not stupid, then it will probably be published, you know. So, um, yeah, back to Long Way to Go by Miguel Johnson. I'm just going to play this in the background. So hopefully it sounds okay. You can still hear me. So uh, what I'm doing here is that I'm showing you a new uh, software that I'm using. It's the Topaz uh, AI, Artificial Intelligence Video Enhance. And uh, with this, you can enhance video, uh, obviously. But uh, you can, uh, like you could take an old video and you could um, modernize it. Like you could uh, have an old VGA video uh, with, uh, say, uh, 600 and 40 by 480 resolution. Uh, you can then bump that up to 2K resolution. So uh, let's see how good it does. So here's uh, Big Blue 12. That's the one I'm going to look at here. That's not the Big Blue 12, but that looks like a like a Big Blue also. Uh, you know, uh, the only Big Blues that you're seeing is the ones that I've filmed, obviously. But uh, I've seen a load more apart from the ones I'm showing you. Uh, yes. So here is the Big Blue 12. Here's what it, the original uh, footage looks like. So as you can see, it's a little bit fuzzy. Um, now there's a key part. I think that is the key part, or somewhere around there, where I can get a bit closer. Let's get a time on it. Uh, get a little bit closer and try to see uh, some detail, which is the goal, after all. Let's see some detail. So let's just look at it again. I'm, I'm really, what I'm looking for is the most detailed part of this particular clip. 48, 48 sounds nice. So I'll just go for that. 21, 48, 48. So this is just the original. So let's go to the first thing. As you can see here, I have all these inside a uh, t-test, which is Topaz test. Uh, I'm testing all of these. I'm, I'm, I'm testing how to do it properly, really. Um, I've been doing this for a little while now. I'm, I'm, this is in preparation for the uh, uh, New Year's Eve upload, which I might have to change to New Year's Day, we'll see. Um, but um, like here's one coming up, su super flyby. Uh, that is, in my opinion, that's crazy footage, crazy. So anyway, here we have Big Blue 12, uh, Big Blue 12.1, which is what I'm working on. And here we're just going to go for a straight denoise first. That means take away this fuzziness. So let's see what Topaz can do. Uh, now, Topaz is expensive enough. But you can see here already how much it's uh, cleaned it up. But... Uh, I got a good deal on it, but you're talking about 200 euro, really. So we're going for 48, 48, if I can get there again. But there's this weird flicky bit. Uh, right, hold on. So there's 42, 43, 44, 5. Now you can see that this is more of an edge. Uh, there is more of an edge on this. And also the fuzziness has mostly disappeared. And there it is at 48. Yes, 48, 48. And here you can see a little pokey bit here. Uh, I just hope that you can see this. Or you can see my uh, mouse here. But there's a pokey bit here poking out. And then another bit, you know. So it looks more detailed. So let's go on ahead. The next one I want to go to is, I have my own little codes here. So art, uh, Q, denoise, uh, yes. 
we'll just go for the SD first, which basically means um, 640 by 480, which is what uh, the footage comes out in, in uh, the IJN 2020, or the device I use for recording of it, the 640 by 480. But as you can see, it's much clearer here now. Uh, this is using the Thea AI model. Uh, there's a whole load of different models. Uh, the first one that I was using is was the uh, Artemis, and uh, that's for basically bringing in low quality footage and uh, making it more high quality. Um, so as you can see, it does a good job. Oh, oh God, missed it there. Hold up. Yes, now here we are at the 48 again. So. I need you to help me to decide which is the best, and it's bloody difficult, but as you can see, again, this is good detail, you know, so what I've done there is I've done a denoise first, initially, and then I've done a, a Thea, uh, and made it an SD, which is the original uh, setting on the Thea, or is the original setting on the footage. Now, what I'm looking for is a HD fill after this. So a HD fill is uh, giving you a 2K uh, high definition fill, it, it, it fills the screen. So let's have a look at that one. Now the problem with that HD fill with the Thea is that it does warn that you might get artifacts. And here are some image artifacts going across these tracks. That's all that really appears, and that has appeared on a, on a few of them. You know, uh, but it's not too annoying. But as you can see with the hit HD fill, we're much closer, and we're seeing much more. There's a bit more detail. Uh, all of this counts. You know, it might not look like much to you here, but in the, you know, when you're getting into the finer details, it it really does count. Um, now, clearly, uh, this is too bright in a sense, which often many things are. Uh, I. I didn't think to turn down the brightness at the time. It's something that I do now automatically so that I can get a bit of a clearer picture. So uh, now I'm going to fly on forward here to uh, Gaia high quality. Uh, so we'll do an ordinary Artemis denoise and then go on to a Gaia denoise and see what that looks like. So this is Artemis and then Gaia. Gaia is giving you more detail, supposedly, but it's it's very fine detail. It's very hard to determine how much difference there is. I think I've cut this one a bit earlier, or a bit later, a bit earlier. That's the Gaia one, and that's just denoise, and then Gaia denoise. This one is denoise and Gaia denoise SD, so that's just ensuring that it remains at the original um, resolution. But as you can see, you can see edges on this now because of that denoise. At the end, I will take you back to the original so that you can compare this. Now, of course, there's some shady bits and some artifacts. But on the whole, I think it does a great job, you know. Um, now this is the HD fill of the Gaia. So you can see that there's a jaggedness to the edges of this more and more. As you get closer and closer, you can see a jagged edge. So this is the Gaia HQ uh, HD fill. High definition fill, fill the screen. So now you've seen that, I'll take you back to the original again. So if you can tell me uh, which you think is the best, 